What is up you guys? Of course we've got another set of fills to make you a ton of coins but first I'm going to show you the easiest way to make some coins. If you guys are looking to get some FIFA coins to improve your team and smash through weekend league check out U4GM FIFA 23 coins and you can use code RECALL for 5% off at checkout. Make sure to go check out the sponsor guys but let's get into the video. And of course if you do want to be in for a chance of winning £160 of FIFA points we are about two subs away from 11k once we hit it I'll be announcing the first winner of £80. The second winner will be announced once the first one has been done I'll tell you the requirements. But let's get into the video. So first we're looking at one of the weirdest filters ever, right? I was looking at informs earlier and I realized that Donnarumma's inform card, which is just this one here, can be picked up for 11k and is going for 37. His normal card is going for about 20. So realistically, you could easily pick up his inform card on a snipe while sniping the other one, which means the profit on this one can be like 15k per snipe without even really putting much effort in, which I think is unreal. So we're going to have a look at the minimum for this one. You're looking at probably 21,500, it looks like, probably around that. So we'll do the EA tax as if it was 22K, which would be 1.1. So go down to here, that's 150 coins profit. That's about 350. Um, so it's not a bad profit, it's not amazing, but it's the minimum profit. We've got Donnarumma there straight away, who goes for a little bit more, so that would have been quite good. We've missed an Avas already, but we can do this. We got this, boys. Don't worry. Not that one. We'll get the next one. Don't worry. There's... And as you can see, there's a lot coming up. So if you've got fast fingers, and I don't mean that in a weird way, if you've got fast fingers, you can. De We've just missed a 14 and a 15. How on earth would we miss both of them? I'm gonna go. It's weird, I raised the price and then I get one for the 20k mark we've been sat at. Um, so that is that is alright, we've got a free 50 coin profit one as starting us off. Um, so let's pop that one up for 21,500, get that gone. We're going to try and get a Donnarumma, if we can that would be sick. Uh, I know that we've missed a couple there. Oh, get your bid in, okay so now all of a sudden we can get him, that's weird. Um, let's pop this up, 21,500. To be fair, I'll take it that we got two slugs back to back after missing a few, but it's annoying that I missed a few at that price. Um, let's see if we can get a little bit of a better snipe in. We'll try one more time and then we'll move on to the next floor. Oh, right, we'll give it one more go because I feel like we can definitely do better than that. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two and one right we're moving on so the next one we're looking at the rule breaker center backs now if you have a look here and um, you've got pk Benucci, godfrey and um, i think there is another one on top of them as well and um, but obviously pk is a little bit further out the value but but godfrey and Benucci come very close together and we've got another two filters that have pk and godfrey in so don't worry we do have a couple rule breaker filters here and um, you're looking at about 50k right now for Benucci. now i do believe that this guy is going to go up because his card is actually quite good and um, ea tax puts you to about here um, you've got one there I mean EA tax realistically actually push you there and um, so that one would have been break even we want to probably make I'd say put a bracket of about 2.5k because the cards are going to fluctuate so much so you don't want to be picking them up on the mark and getting four or five hundred coins profit you want to be making a good kind of stack um, out of every card and we've missed the first one but it's because I looked at the camera to see if everything was recorded right that's the that's the excuse for this one here right we're gonna we're going to spam a few more and we're going to get the next one. Or not. Maybe. Okay, we've relinquished, relinquished 500 coins of our profit. So we're going to make 2k per card at 45,500. Sell it on for 50k. Can we get a God Godfrey would be sick. If I can get a Godfrey, I would be over the moon. But Benucci is definitely still a very good player to be picking up right now. And so we're hoping we can grab one, but it is, it's not looking a hundred percent. We might have to, we might have to go over to the Godfrey filter to guarantee ourselves one. Why, why are none coming up? Right, let's, let's try a little bit for the, the compare price method. Mm, not quite good. You know what? Ah, oh, said, you know what, too late. That, I've, I've just realized that was actually a good profit. I don't know why I didn't grab that. Right, we'll go back in. So going back in, we're looking at Godfrey and Phillips. The likelihood here is that you're gonna be picking up Godfrey the majority of the time, but you got that chance at Phillips if someone mislists him. So just trying to work out kind of what he's actually going for right now. It does seem to be about, what, 67K? There's quite a few at 67, um, but there's it does seem like 60 is kind of the mark he's sat. What we want to really do is guarantee profit there. So we'll go 56. 
if we can get one at 56, um, we're guaranteed a case profit, even if we sell it at like 60, 61 is going to be a little bit more. And if we sell it for a couple K more, we might be able to squeeze like a 4K profit. And um, so it just depends what we can get him for, what we can sell him for. But it's guaranteed profit either way, minimum of a K. We can increase the profit by knocking it down to here. Um, so this one's like 2K guaranteed profit per card. But obviously, you're going to see less cards. It is, we are asking for a lot, you know, going quite under the buy now. But we're going to see if we can get one. Um, we haven't seen a. We haven't seen a Phillips yet uh, at all in any of the filters I've been looking at, but that is a lovely Godfrey miss there. So 54K. I reckon we can get the next one. I don't reckon the next one's a miss. I reckon this next one is our one. I reckon this is the one that we, we match work on. So are we going to go again? Maybe. We're gonna get another one. Oh, we've been kicked out again. So going back in, we're gonna try a gold rare filter because we seem to be getting done over by them rule breakers. So we're gonna be looking at Netherlands gold rare defender and Bundesliga. So we've got Fringpong and Delict here. You're more likely obviously gonna be picking up Delict, but Fringpong is definitely gonna be available. And obviously the fact that he's, I think he's in form right now. Um, so you've got a little bit of a, a better chance to get some good profit on him. And uh, let's have a look. 2.4k there seems to only be two pages so we're going to sell at 2.5 i think yeah 2.5 for the sell on ea tax on that is going to be 125 coins which means we know to go there for 75 coins that's 175 coins profit per card and one came up straight away that is not something that usually happens um, but we will take it and what i do like is that you've actually got quite good uh, right back in him if you ever used him He's, he looks like quite a nice card we've missed a 2k and a 2.1 but we're going to get the next one i feel like the market slows you down when it kicks you off because it was so fine a couple minutes ago and now it's obviously having issues um which is a little bit annoying it isn't great uh, i don't i don't like the the, the way oh i didn't think i was gonna get that one i literally had my hand off the controller at the start of that that's so odd um it's annoying the way sniping works like you get the ones that you don't deserve um because i definitely did not deserve that one um, but we will take it we will take it we've got the first one there we'll see if we can get another one of course not go on give me one give me one just one just the one that's all i need And we got it right, we'll move on. So guys, we're gonna stick with the gold rares. We're going gold rare cam, Premier League, and Chelsea. And um, someone sent me this over on Instagram and it looks like quite a good filter. You've got Havertz and Mount there. Obviously, Mount being in form at the moment, it's gonna change the rate you can pick him up, but you've also got ZH there. So you've got a couple of players in here and you can get some good snipes out of it. So looking at what they're actually going for, it is more like the 1.9 mark. I mean that Havertz there is definitely a snipe. And um, let's have a look what Havertz is going for because I'm pretty sure. That's quite a good little snipe there. So, yeah, so he goes pretty much the same as the rest of them. So it's not too much higher. Um, he goes for about 2.3. So that's not bad. Um, so we'll pop him up for 2.3. And then we're going to go for some snipes out of these. So 1.7 there. There's still that ZH there. If I go max price, is he still in? Oh, it's going to slow me down again. Right. Concept. Concept players. Compare price might be the one. Oh, we got another Havertz. And something has sold on, which is great to see. I'm assuming that is one of our Dana, Dana rumors, Dana rumors. Um, apparently, I can't speak. I'm assuming that's one of our Dana rumors or our Navises. I don't know how I messed up that same sentence four or five times, but I, I would argue that's borderline impressive. And um, we're going to go for the compare prize. We're going to see if we can get one more, and then I'm going to call it a day because apparently I can't even speak right now. And um, so we'll do a ten counts of ten, nine, eight, seven. Six. Oh. Oh, we've missed it. Oh, we've missed both of them. Oh, we've missed both of them. Right, let's go and check what we did actually just sell because things seem to be selling quite well. And both the Navas are sold already, so that is a big win. And I'll see you guys in the next one.